Hi, welcome back into Snooker Systems YouTube channel, the place where you subscribe for hints and tips as to how you can play this game of snooker better. Now, in this video, we're going to be looking at looking ahead. Question is, how far ahead do we need to look? You know, in the professional game, do they, do they look one, two, three, four, five or more shots ahead? Well, the answer is, at that level of the game, they're probably looking five, six, seven shots ahead. But how far do we really need to look ahead when we're playing kind of at any level? So this tiny, simple looking routine is going to help us understand exactly how many shots we should be looking ahead. So we've got two reds and a blue. So obviously two reds, two blues is a break of 12. That's our objective. I've set ourselves up on this red. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to play a, a run through shot, top spin shot for position on the blue for my second shot. So really I'm, I'm thinking two shots ahead now. So just roll this ball in, play with top spin onto the other side, the yellow side of the table and get position on the blue. Okay, so we potted the red, and now, well, from over here, I can see there's a problem already, right? I need to get this red next, but I'm on the blue, but I'm on the wrong side of it. I need to be on the bulk side of the blue to easily get back to the red. I can pot the blue, I can go into bulk and out of bulk, but am I going to get perfect on this next red with the cue ball traveling effectively 12 feet? Probably not. So the answer to the question is, we need to be thinking three shots ahead at all times. And then when you pop the first ball, you add your new third ball. If you can look four shots, five shots ahead, all the better. But I want you to be thinking about three shots as a minimum at all times when you come to the table. So now let's think about three shots ahead. We'll set the same angle up. I'm not going to play the run through shot this time. I'm going to play a soft backspin shot because I want to land on this line here. If I can land on that line just off straight, but on the bulk side of the table, then I have an easier shot to be able to pot the blue and then get position on the red with the correct angle to get back to the blue. It's quite a lot to think about and I'm not going to tell you that it's easy and simple thing for you to do. You have to work at this a little bit, but the more that you consider your breaks, the more you consider the angle that you need on ball number two to get to ball number three, the better the chances of you beating your highest break and beyond are going to be. So let's have a go. So we know we want to play a backspin shot. We know we want to pull the cue ball back into this area of the table, but on the correct side of the blue. Okay, so now we are on the correct side of the blue. I made sure of that by making sure I went low enough on the cue ball and didn't hit it too hard because I didn't want the cue, back, cue ball to come back to the cushion over here. So I've held it nicely on the green side of the table. And now I'm just going to roll this ball into the pocket and just, I could play, a, in fact, I will. Let's play a backspin shot. That way I don't have to walk around the table and set the camera up again, right? So here we go, backspin shot onto the green side of the table, leaving myself on this red. But I want to make sure that I'm either straight or preferably just off straight on the top side of the table so that I can then have the angle to get back to the blue. So backspin shot, just want to come just past the red. Okay, so I'm just gonna put another red up, save going around and getting the blue. And now I'm on this red. This time, I only will have this ball, which would be a blue, but it's red in this case, to complete my break of 12. So once again, I'm going to play a backspin shot, pulling the cue ball away onto the green side of the table, leaving myself on this final ball 
to complete my break of 12. So I need to be low on this cue ball. Don't need a great deal of pace because I don't want to pull the cue ball too far back. Okay, come a little bit thin, but it doesn't matter because I'm still on this red and I can pop the ball into the middle pocket to complete our break of 12. No other balls on the table to think about. So just roll this ball into the centre of the pocket. Okay, so that completes a break of 12. Did I have perfect position? No. But did I need perfect position in an ideal world? Yeah, okay. We'd want to be perfect all the time. But because I was considering the angle that I wanted on the second ball, and in particular which side of that ball I needed to be to get to the third ball, I was able to complete the break. Had I tried to do it the first attempt, it's unlikely I would have made it. So I want you to think three shots ahead. Just force yourself into that position where you're saying, right, I know I want to pop this ball, I can get on that ball next, but the question is, how do I get on it? How do you get on that ball to get to your third ball? And then once you've potted the first one, there should be a new ball being layered on top to be able to complete your break with this kind of thinking. Once you can think three shots ahead, you should then challenge yourself to maybe go to four shots, five shots, look what balls need de developing and think about when you're going to do that. I hope you enjoyed that video. Don't forget like, subscribe and hit the bell for more videos which will be coming thick and fast in the very near future. See you soon.